Hello, my warriors. Welcome to another video. Today, we are going to do this. Alrighty, let's talk about it. What my 2020 vision board looks like. Right here is new job, new home, new furniture. Those are my goals to hopefully accomplish in the next month. Yes, I've been looking for a new place, but it's been challenging because of hurdles, obstacles, changes, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. So, am I going to give up? No. I'm going to keep going because something's going to come out of this. The song say he made something out of nothing. So, I'm going to hang in now. And hopefully, I'll be able to check those off within a month. Then we have 500 subscribers. I can get it in the next month or two, which will be fantastic. I can get it in the middle of the year, which would be great. And I can have it by the end of the year, which would mean I met my goal. Then we come down here to three to five videos per month. Now, I had been contemplating on should I do YouTube? And that was in 2018. I was nervous about it because I'm like, I'm a, you know, quiet person. I don't want everybody in my business. <laughs> so I was nervous about doing it. I just didn't feel, feel comfortable. But in 2019, I said, okay, I can do this. I can do this. So I might have just a few subscribers, but my goal is I could have been at a thousand subscribers by now. But I just really didn't want to tell people I know. You know, I'd rather people that didn't know me. But what it is, is one thing about YouTube, tell the people you know first. Because they can tell others. And others will tell others. <laughs> and then that's how you will build. You build your YouTube page up with your content as well as your subscribers. So what do I plan on doing for you this year? I will be doing bougie on a budget. I will be doing my monthly planner video. I will be doing um, mukbangs, cooking with Miss Trezina, um, jewelry videos, um, nail videos, because I do do my own nails, as you can saw. And it's going to be a lot of others. I can't even think of them all at this moment. But my bougie on a budget, I have been, you know, finding the bags that I really like that I might have had at one time and don't have anymore. So I am starting my collection of Louis Vuittons, um, Chanel, Gucci, um... MCM, Coach, I mean, I'm planning on just getting my wardrobe of bags back, technically. So, I will be doing a lot of different videos that will entertain you as well as give you knowledge as well as show you what the deal is, honey. I'm on your side. <laughs> I am going to start my business, which I have already did. I just haven't really pushed it. I'm just, you know, trying to gather up everything first, and then I'm going to push it once I gather up what I need. I do plan on going somewhere fun once a month. What is somewhere fun? It can be anywhere, but that's going to be quality time that I spend with my man at this particular time, as well it may be quality time I spend by myself. But I want to blog something once a month showing you that you can make something out of nothing. 
So that's my goal there. Um, having morning devotion, I have been watching, or should I say listening to my morning prayer and I plan on doing devotion with that because I was going to buy a book, but I couldn't find a book that's interesting to me or entertaining me. So I decided, let me just listen to YouTube, this particular channel. Like I said, I think it's my morning prayer. I plan on doing that because the timing of that is either going to be between 8 to 20 minutes and I say that's perfect timing for me because that's going to be something I do as soon as I get up it could be while I'm eating it can be anything but I'm going to fit time in to give God morning devotion because I already give him my time when it comes down to music I normally listen for my listen to my gospel music about one hour per day so I am going to give him that and I'm going to continue my morning prayer like I do every morning let's say at least monday through friday and over here i plan on studying cpa health and life insurance i've already studied the health and life insurance years ago um the health insurance part i didn't do just the life insurance but at that time i wasn't ready to pursue that but i plan on studying again because there is a company that you know really helps with the health and life insurance to the um elderly so that they'll be able to get their retirement going and you know be set to be able to retire it and enjoy it now for those who don't know what cpa mean that means certified public accounting you know when i get ready to retire i may want to work you know, a little bit. So let me do six months out the year because that's around the time that they do income tax, even though it is only, um, from January to normally April, I think some people have extensions to where they may continue it to like June, somewhere up in there. So I look at that might be something that I want to do just to, you know, have some income coming in after, you know, I decide to retire or something like that. But you only see other spaces that are empty. Those are the spaces for what am I going to do? You know, I might come up with, you know, another goal or plan. I can put it there and try to reach that goal no later than December 31st, 2020. Or it may be a goal that I am trying to start now and it may take a few years to complete it. And mostly it could be those. But I want to say thumbs up the video if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you are not a warrior. Click the notification to be notified of all videos along with share the video it may be something that i talked about today that may can help someone else and help them maybe with a decision that they were trying to make so i want to thank you all for watching and there are more videos to come have a great day bye